So we're here at Mobile World Congress, and who are you? Uh, hello, I'm Conrad from Cybercom Poland. So uh, what do you do, Cybercom? Well, we are uh, the consulting company, and so we do projects for our customers that outsource uh, the software development work for us. We are based in Poland, in Wuchen, Warsaw. Uh, and uh, apart from being a consultancy company, we are selling our product, uh, Bluetooth, uh, for the car kits, called BlueGo. So and apart from that, we are uh, trying to revolutionize the multimedia in the automotive industry by uh, showing off our uh, Cybercom uh, concept uh, and the gadget uh, infotainment on the stick. So how does it work? Well, th this is something that we developed uh, with the partnership with, with our colleagues from uh, Cybercom Sweden. And uh, yeah, uh, so basically this, is, this reassembles a car computer. You can play with it, it has a normal features as a car would, do, would have. You have a navigation, you have a uh, radio and such. However, now, however now, uh, you can use uh, Android stick, yeah. like this one. I don't show the name who produced it because it doesn't, not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, exactly. It can be any of those. This one actually has been bought uh, in the shop. And mm -hmm. the thing is that uh, the normally car life cycle lasts around 15 years. Nice. And those devices and the mobile applications, they change rapidly. Like, yeah. uh, you know what happened to WhatsApp and Facebook recently, right? Yeah. It happened, you, you, you would not imagine that year before, right? No. Exactly. But right now, uh, uh, cars are some, somewhat not updating. really updated yeah. to what we can have on the market. But with this solution, you can always have your mobile devices and mobile applications with you in your car. So where do you put this? Yeah, basically, you put it in the HDMI port. Ah, you have an HDMI port in yeah. the car. And then, yeah, you can basically play with it. And you have, and the applications are running on the stick. And they don't contact with the head unit of the car, because it's all HDMI driven. That's the whole concept, whole idea. I including touch? Uh, yeah, there's a touch, but this is a static page. Okay. Yeah, there is a touch. There's a touch between. Uh, and that works with HDMI. Yeah, that works with HDMI. All right. So, uh, but the cars with HDMI connectors. Yeah, but I said that because at the beginning. It's just a concept. Yeah. It's an innovation. It's our think tank on how to solve the problem in automotive industry. Uh, it's not something production ready. I, in the meaning that you cannot take it and plug it into your car right now at the moment. It's a demo. It's something that we have been thinking, oh, okay, we know the problems of automotive industry and we are strong in mobile programming and in uh, devices, so we can combine those two. And that's the product, that's the result of nice. our thinking. So how, so many, how, many, uh, how much work do you do? Like which, how many cars have your technology or well, are you in cars? Uh, well, the, the Bluetooth from Cybercom uh, is, uh, in, uh, is installed in uh, several million cars a year. So it's just huge success. And uh, apart from that, uh, well, we do software development on a daily basis. All kinds of things. Yeah, all kinds of things. Our, as for Cyber Poland, uh, uh, we are uh, divided into four domains. So one of them is connected engineering and then embedded devices. This is the automotive. This is the low level microchip programming. Uh, the second one is uh, secure connectivity. We do security audits because we are, we are certified in, in that industry. And apart from that, we do connectivity management, uh, which is uh, about radio base stations, installations, measurements of the network, uh, operational excellence and such. And we do the digital solution solutions, which uh, is uh, web portals, mobile applications, uh, and you, can, you should understand it more like uh, enterprise applications, web applications in Java or .NET. So how many uh, engineers you have? Well, in Cybercom Poland has uh, 150 engineers in two locations, in Warsaw and Łódź. And the Cybercom Group in total has uh, 12,000 engineers, mostly in Sweden. Cool, so uh, any work that needs to be done can be done great and fast and... Yeah, great and fast and, uh, yeah, basically, great best. and fast, best. best, of course the best. Who's your competitor? Like uh, some, there's some, uh, some companies in India that are huge, no? But what is the difference working with you? Well, uh, compared to uh, India, 
uh, I don't know, some giant company outsourcing? Well, for, the, for our customers in the Europe, uh, the difference is, uh, for example, the time zone. It's and the cultural difference. It's easier to work at the same working hours, overlapping working hours. All right. So you have customers all over the world. Uh, well, uh, as Cybercom Group, yes. As Cybercom Poland, uh, yes, as well. We have some local customers in Poland. We have customers around the Europe, in Sweden, and some of them, some of the business is done uh, on the Middle East and uh, Asia.